Okay, in this tutorial I'll show you the difference between using, say, the Boolean modifiers versus proportional editing when building some objects in the scene. And I switch back and forth between these two depending on what I'm building. And I'll show you the reason why. Say, for instance, if I was building a wheel well for a vehicle. All right, so I might come into here and, well, even just like that, I'll just leave that right there. I'll just put my cursor to that object and I'll add a cylinder to the scene and in this case I'll use a boolean modifier I'll just scale it down rotate it on X by 90 make sure yeah, it's going all the way through and I'll bring it down to about here and then that's named cylinder so then I'll go up to the cube go to the modifier go to a boolean use the difference and go get that cylinder and then I can apply it what I do, then if I move this cylinder out of the way, suddenly I have that. That's fast and easy, right, for building objects. But if you go into edit mode on this, you look at it, look at the way these, your mesh is now all messed up. So it depends on what shape mesh you had. Let's, let's do it again. Let's control Z that a couple times. Oops, what the heck happened there? Hang on. Control Shift Z. Control Z matters whether you're in in or out of edit mode. So now I'm out of edit mode. Now I'll Control Z. And there's my modifier back in there again. So you can see it hasn't done it like that. But now what I'll do is I'll go into here and I'm going to subdivide this a couple times. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I'll do the same operation. I'll go get the cylinder and apply it. Make sure it's cut it out. It has. All right, let's go see what it looks like this time. So that's still, it's better formed mesh like that, but still it's got some issues as far as I was concerned, as far as the way it does it. So the reason I don't like doing this all the time is because then if I want to go do my loop cut and slide, say horizontally like this, and I move it down, then it gets stuck. Where, you know, I, well, I can't do it there. I could do it, say, let me one down here. I could try it here. Well, it's stuck there. Well, it doesn't give me the same kind of options because with these, anytime you, you know, subdivide a single face like that, it's going to break up your edge or face loop. But if I didn't have this all broken up like that, then this loop would come down and it would start conforming around here. So it's a great way to make transitions between, say, this straight line and this curved edge. So in that case, I wouldn't want to use the Boolean modifier. So I'd, what I would do otherwise, I'd come over here and I'd grab this object instead and go into edit mode. Maybe I'll subdivide this up. Now a lot of times, well actually you don't usually subdivide, so I'll control Z that. A lot of times what I'll do is always do control R, and I'll do it this way. And I'll just put a bunch of loops in like this. I'll show you why here in a second. Alright, so I'm going to go look at it in ortho mode. Yikes. And then I'll go into vertex select, look at both sides, and just grab this middle one down here like that. And then what I do is use proportional editing. So I'll turn on my proportional editing and put it in spherical mode like that. And then when I do GX, I can, whoop, GZ, I move it up. And by doing that, then I can build my wheel well this way. So it's dependent upon how many, well this is, there's two things you have to change in this. You have to kind of fix it up because you know a circle as you keep going around the points of the circle this spacing is going to get narrower so then you have to kind of do some modifications like maybe grab this and then shift select this and then maybe SX to scale it whoops turn off proportional editing SX scale it and that'll help make it look more circular. So you have to do a little bit of tweaking in there, but that's okay because now when I come in and do my loop cut and slide in here, now you can see it wants to, let me see, let me see back it up so you can see the whole thing. Control Z, all right, Control R, do that again. So there it is here, and now you can see it makes the transition between this and this up here. So that gives me a lot more control as for at least the things that I want to do. In fact, that's how I end up making a trim around the wheels. I'd start with something like that and maybe tweak it a little bit. That was pretty simple. Or you just grab this, you just grab this loop down here and move it up as well. That's easy. But this is, I like this power that it gives me. And then sometimes I'll just, before I do that, I might actually, um, before I even do this type of work in here. Maybe I can zoom back. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually put a a blocking line in it like this. 
so then it can't block then it can't get past this area so then when I come in and do my let's see B like this okay G Z so now when I'm moving it up and do my proportional editing like this all right there I am good like that so the nice thing about that is then then if I want to still work with surface square to shape surfaces up here then my line still works either way like that and, or if I want to use that curve then it's curved down like that so sometimes I'll just preset my shapes in advance and that gives me more control in a lot of ways and then my mesh is a lot cleaner in a lot of ways I don't have all those extra little faces lying around in there so it's kind of just a personal preference the way I like to work and maybe you'll find it useful maybe not okay well thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video